on the news tonight. Outgoing FOC Eastern Naval Command, Rear Admiral Oluwa Biri Kalawile charges officers and rating on sustaining efforts in the fight against the maritime crime. Experts stress on importance of work-life balance for preservation of life, growth, and development of society. Plus, people of Eja community appeal for government's presence to alleviate suffering in the area. Details of these and more in our online news. Welcome to NTA Online News. I am Erika Evie. Now the news and details. The Flag Officer Commanding Eastern Naval Command, Rear Admiral Uluwabiri Kolawili, a charging officers and men of the Nigerian Navy to redouble their efforts in the fight against crime and criminalities in the Nigerian waterways. The Flag Officer gave the charge during his passing out parade as a flag officer commanding the Eastern Naval Command of NNS Victory Parade Ground in Calabar. Oba Hassant reports. In order to boost the nation economy and ensure safety of commercial activities along the jurisdiction of the Eastern Naval Waterways, the command is taking responsibilities to ensure safety of lives and property. This was brought to bear as the command witnessed the end to the leadership of Kolowale Oluwagbire, who gave an emotional farewell address during a personal parade as a flag was lowered to indicate an end to an era and a beginning of a new one. The time has come for me to say goodbye. I do so with a heavy heart, but immense pride for all that we have achieved together in our goal to becoming the best naval operations command in the entire world. After 10 months, and after the arrest of 13 ships, 101 suspects, after the installation of about 399 boats, and um, the seizure of products worth 92 billion naira that was denied criminal elements, I can say modestly that we were able to smoke them out and also give them a bloody nose. The governor of Cross River State, Senator Basio II, represented by his deputy, Peter Hode, lauded the success achieved during his reign in the command. A legacy, he says, is legendary. He's a fantastic officer and indeed a gentleman. You know, for the 10 months that he has stayed here, you can, you all are witnesses to the fact that even the security of this state has improved. He has commanded his men very well, and we are very grateful for the service he has put to the Nigerian Navy, the country at large, and indeed Cross River State. The government uh, supported the outgoing FOC immensely, and that uh, facilitated his um, capacity and ability to improve on the maritime security with infrastructures, at vessels, brown uh, water operations, flat bottom boats that we have been seeing to ensure that uh, maritime crime is uh, completely eliminated. Rear Admiral Kolo Wale Oluwagbiri took over the reign as the flag officer commanding the Eastern Naval Command on the 11th of April 2023 and has held different positions an appointment including Defense Attaché Luanda at the National Defense College, Director of Operations at Naval Headquarters, as well as a Fellow of Defense College, Pakistan. FOC holds a master's degree in maritime and national security and experience he brought to bear during this past tenth month at the Eastern Naval Command. In Calabar, Oba Hyacinth, NTA News. The need for one to strike a balance in family life and secular work is very essential, not only for the individual but also to the society due to the disastrous consequences when one overlaps the other. In this special report, Paul Abel examined the importance of work-life balance and the consequences of poor work-life 
balance. According to the Canadian Department of Labor, work-life balance is a self-defined, self-determined state of well-being that a person can reach or can set as a goal that allows them to manage effectively multiple responsibilities at work, at home, and in their communities. Simply put, it is the ability of an individual to ensure that in the numerous responsibilities, one is not allowed to override the other, such as giving one the time to work at the expense of the well-being of the family. To maintain a work-life balance, experts advise to improve personal organization and scheduling, avoid time wasters, implement changes, practice deep breathing often, and reflection. Deep breathing stimulates the Freddy nerve, the vagus nerve through the diaphragm. And the vagus nerve is so important for the parasympathetic nervous system. So one reason is, Deep breathing exercises are known to bring about relaxation. It relaxes you. It even reduces your blood pressure at that time. There are times you are so angry about something, you are so frustrated. And your blood pressure, you may be surprised how much it is at that time. But if you remember to take a deep breath, you might reduce the anger, reduce the tension in the system, and get you going. And I'm hoping that this little time can encourage us to reflect. That's really what I'm hoping to achieve. Reflection. Reflection. You know your schedule better. Before you run up the office or run up that shift and try to go for school runs, take a little time to reflect on your day. It may be your own, what may be best for you, as they open the gate for you to enter as your children run up into the house. Don't rush out of the car thinking of the next meal to fix for the family or what next you want to do. Spend a little time to reflect. Everybody, whatever your career is, the principles apply. How can I maintain a healthy work life balance? However, when an individual neglects balancing his or her work with other areas of his life or life, the consequences include burnout, marital difficulties, lose adolescent, reduce job satisfaction, frequent absenteeism, among others. Some Nigerians comment on the importance of work-life balance. Our work is not the entire definition of our lives. We also have to a play a role to play with society and our communities as well as families. And that lecture helped us to learn how to balance that so that we are not only better pediatricians, we are also better members of society, better family members also. We must create time for you to rest. You see, total dependence on your work without leisure, without finding time, you see, to rest. You see, can even put you to grief early. So you must create time, no matter, you see, your official commitments, to make sure that there is time for you to have your private rest so that you can live long. Experts advocate that maintaining a work-life balance is not only good for the individual and his or her family, but also for better societal growth and development. In Calabar, Paul Abel, NG News. And moving on, some rural communities in Nigeria often lack basic infrastructure, such as good road network and electricity making it difficult for businesses to thrive day by hindering access to education and health care services. Udwaritam reports that this is a case in Eja community, Ugubra local government area of Cross River states, as the people are appealing for government intervention to unlock the agriculture potential of the community for economic development. Aja people in Obubra local government area across river states are predominantly farmers, as some also venture into agribusinesses to improve their livelihoods. There are lots of opportunities to be exploited by the people of the area to boost food production and maximize profits, such as yam farming. Since the demand for this food item in Nigeria is high, but the assistance of government is required to achieve this. Most of the yams here, we used to divide it into two, we tear it into two and plant it in our next 
coming season. So look at the bank here. The place is saved. The shade here it will, is conducive for the, the yams. Where there is sun, the yam used to rotten, used to spoil. And these are some of the yams who've not even tied. Others are still in the bush. We still have to go and convey them down here. We still have extension of the yam bank all over. So this is what we do. I'm a businessman. But I see that Nigeria is becoming somehow to venture into family poly so I can help others. The community also lacks good road network, school buildings, electricity and portable water as the only source of water is stream or river as this exposes the people to water-related diseases such as cholera and more. Besides that, there is no functional health facility in the community with only one health worker at the government health center to attend to the health care needs of the people. It is a burden to one person to be in a clinic. This clinic in health center, I was told that uh, the highest people that work in the health center are six. So that you run on shifting. Can one man be running on shifting? So I'm begging very seriously that uh, the government should look into this situation. We don't even have what I left from the river and uh, 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 fishing ponds and all those. We drink from the ponds and the river, which is very bad water. We need water, please, good water. We also need a very solid health facilities so that uh, the people too can have a sense of belonging, just like we have x -ray. It is the hope of the people that government will come to their aid. From Aja Community, Obubra Local Government Area of Cross River State, Udwak Etam, NTA News. That is the end of our online news tonight. Thanks for watching. Good night.